Gregor, do you have tape on the finish of the championship in that game? Look, I think there's, there's two ways to look at it. You can look and analyze the game, which uh, was disappointing in parts, especially in the first half, but uh, an improved performance in the second half and our, and our resilience, the togetherness to find that win. And then the context of the championship, it was great to pick up on a wee win, to, to finish with three wins. Uh, from yesterday, that was good, from the beginning of the championship, so obviously we're looking for more than that. But uh, I think today's game will, will be as valuable as the <coughs> win against England in terms of experiences group has at, and working out how to, to beat teams when you're maybe not playing your best. You talk about performance, but do you feel that was an improvement on, on last week in Ireland? No. No, look, at, each, each game is different. Um, you have different game plans, you have different um, game plans that the opposition are, are bringing to you. you. You have to react to different situations, whatever game's going well for you. That obviously wasn't going that well for us in the first half. Uh, there was a, a couple of good parts of, of our game in the first half when we, when we scored a try. But Italy controlled most of the possession and they were very strong with their ball carries, a lot of, a lot of direct rugby. Um, that was narrowing up our defence and then they were able to, to find space. Uh, so we, we obviously didn't have as much possession as we had against Ireland. Uh, and a lot of that was down to our, our errors, but sometimes down to Italy playing really well. So no, it, was, it wasn't as good as last week's performance, but the second half showed that we're capable of a reaction, capable of, of pulling back a 12-point deficit and, and finding out what's working for us. Uh, which was the mall, um, which was keeping possession more in the second half, uh, and obviously finishing those opportunities to, to get ahead. We looked at all this after the France game, the way that he controlled the final stage of that to get to victory. It was a sort of similar case today. How impressed have you been with his sort of leadership since he came back in? Yeah, he's been excellent. I think uh, the goal kicking is obviously a, a very important for us. I don't think he missed one against France. He kicked two or three crucial ones today. Both those games had to play in two different positions, had to play 80 minutes, so it shows what an adaptable player he is. I felt the, um, the focus and energy from the whole team in the last 20 minutes was excellent. So you've got you to credit other guys around Greg as well, so Peter Horn at 12 and Ali Price inside him and Stuart Hogg at the back made some really good decisions, uh, had some big plays for us, so that, that really helped. But yeah, Greg's, Greg's been excellent. Few minutes after the game's finished, but can, you, can you sum up your thoughts on the championship? Just how you assess the performance of the Vikings? Yeah, I, I think I said to someone before the game, whether it was my wife or my parents, that this is going to be a roller coaster, and uh, and it has been during the championship. Today was a roller coaster for 80 minutes, and we uh, we we started poorly. We we realised that we didn't we missed that first game, but. We got things back against France and England. I felt each game we were getting better. Even in the Ireland game, we did a lot, a lot of good things. Um, and today we missed the first half, or a large part of the first half, but we managed to get a game back on track in the second half. So, look, it's, it's encouraging the parts of our game, like our mall, um, our breakdown work, um, which was again very good today, uh, were, um, were in, are in place and are real weapons for us. Uh, parts of our attack have gone well, parts of our defence have gone well, but we're, we've got a long way to go to, to reach our potential. But it's been a, it's been a solid, solid is not the word, it's been, a, it's been a good experience for the players. And to get three wins in such a competitive championship, uh, we do realise our history, we've not won three times that, that often. That, that's OK, um, but we want to do better than that, we want to build on what we've done this year. Greg, if you can get you... Moved on. This team has moved on from last year. Look, at, that, that's a hard question to answer. It's life is. We can't really explain things on. Well, we're better now than we we're, were a year ago, um, or two years ago, or six months ago. Probably in terms of performances in games, I don't think we've reproduced our New Zealand performance and our Australia performance in the Six Nations. But the Six Nations is a different competition. I think for, for maybe 50, 60 minutes of the England game, we were right up there with what we did in November. 
and how we played the second half against France. Big parts of Ireland were better because the opposition were were, get, were posing more problems. So we've what, what we've um, experienced in the last six months has has been great for our development. We've played the number one, number two, number three, number four team in the world, and the number one team we we came with within a a few metres of, of beating them. The number two team, which is England, we beat at the time. Obviously, Ireland are now number two team, and we we put on a, a performance that, tr that asked them a lot of questions. Australia, number three, um, with our best performance of, of the season. So we knew this season was going to be very tough with the, the teams we were coming up against. And today, we um, well, we weren't playing a top five team in the world, but it was a team that, that played really well, that asked us different questions, and we were on the back foot a lot of that game. And yes, we'd like to be much better than we were at the beginning, but that second half response, that togetherness, that resilience was, was great to see. And obviously, we're judged on wins and losses, and we, we managed to get the win today.